welcome to September's edition of Gardening Advice here at the Old Railway Line Garden Centre. For a change, the sun is shining, which is nice to see, and we're immersed here in um, bulbs, Keith. So a big task this month is going to be buying and planting the bulbs, yeah, I think. Yeah, well, looking forward to, to next year. There's still plenty to do this year, but anyway. Um, yeah, the bulbs started to come in a fortnight ago, I suppose. We've not got them all yet, but we've still got, we've got a lot here to choose from. The idea really is to come along uh, as soon as possible while there's still lots of choice, uh, get what you want and then start getting them in. Um, we started with the daffodils and crocus and things like that in September and then uh, the hyacinths and the tulips. They're better planted a little bit later, let's say October and November. But there's still lots, uh, lots to do uh, uh, this year. Um, I mean September is a really good month, I always think it's a better month than August, it seems to be warmer and drier, sunnier and this year it hasn't got much to beat has it, August has been uh, you know, difficult to garden anymore to say the least, so, but September is, is, is really good. Um, we talked about uh, deadheading through the summer so people's uh, bedding plants, hanging baskets, pots are still probably going quite well, just keep deadheading, keep feeding those. Um, when they do start to, to go over, then to replace them with the, with the winter bedding. So pansies, violas, they've started to come in uh, for the, the new season. Um, and then there's lots in the garden as well. Uh, if you've been dead heading roses and things like dahlias and pentamen, they'll keep flowering through September and into October. And it's a good month because there's some late flowering plants that come into their own in September. Uh, things like the um, sedums and Japanese anemones and Rebecca's great late flowers so there's, there's lots you can add into gaps and keep the colour going through another month and probably into October as well. It's nice that there are plants that will, that will as you say keep the colour going because it just keeps it interesting in the garden and there's nothing worse than just having the, the, the colour for one section and then, then it all dies so those ones that you planted that are going to keep coming back they actually they have a bit of interest now for like the bleeding yeah. out the autumn. Yeah. Yeah. July and August are usually the most difficult months for gardeners to keep things going and we're through that now so we're into a, a, a better spell and you know, let's hope we get a, a nice autumn and, and things carry on as long as possible. That's brilliant, well thanks very much Keith.